Hey, what's up? I just watched the uh, last uh, constraint layout video from Google I.O. and got some interesting stuff. So it's not gonna be an introduction to constraint layout. If you need one, you can check uh, this post. And there is a... I basically, I explain how to replace all the different uh, layouts in, on Android and there is a second part as well. So the latest stuff that uh, I found interesting was a constraint set. It's uh, basically like seeing transitions but they don't reinflate views, just uh, changing constraints. Which means that if you have two layouts, uh, you ha gotta have same views but different constraints. And that's uh, like the very simple example. So that's the resulting uh, layout to text views in a chain. And uh, first one is uh, exactly the same, but the uh, second uh, view is gone. It looks weird, but uh, this view is actually centered. So to make a transition from one to another constraint set, you need to create uh, two constraint sets. Then I inflate uh, layout with the data binding. Let's see what it looks like here. XML. It's just include to the actual layout, constraint layout, and the floating action button to trigger an action. Okay, and uh, then there is a bunch of overridden methods for constraint set clone over loaded, right? Yes. So it whether takes uh, XML layout file or inflated constraint layout widget. For uh, second resulting, we use the uh, XML layout for first since it's uh, already inflated. We use uh, ID by ID accessing. Well, since it's a data binding, yes, otherwise you would use find view by ID. And this is a method called uh, when floating action button clicked, the only part needed to change layouts, change constraints, is uh, this set to apply to. Set to once again is a resulting layout with the constraints. And that's we pass in the constraint layout widget. And to make it animated, you add this line transition manager. There is a support version. Begin transition on uh, constraint layout. Again, it's quite a simple example to actually can do, and you can do way more, of course. Visibility is uh, not quite impressive uh, in complexity. So how it works is it actually extracts constraints from this layout, right? Since views are exactly the same. Yeah, and uh, you can build uh, some uh, really complex uh, scene transitions. Like, for example, uh, I can think of uh, some stuff like login screen, maybe. After a login, there is like some change going on. If you know there is a quite handy attribute on linear layout called uh, animate layout changes. So let's imagine it's a linear layout. And you add this flag and after that uh, all the changes to children like change in visibility from gun to vi visible and uh, adding new views, deleting will be animated with the like fading animation like you see in here 
And this attribute actually applies to constraint layout as well. So that simple change that was here, we can do with the animate layout change. Yeah, but once again, because it was just a trivial stuff with constraint sets, of course, you can achieve way more. Yeah, and as you see, the same behavior. And all I had to do is uh, just add this animate layout changes. Okay, that's it for constraint sets. Go ahead and try it out. I think uh, you can create some cool animations. And uh, subscribe if you like the video and uh, want to see more. And take care.